Hello everyone and welcome to my Royal Family Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. After months of feuding, Prince Harry has made arrangements for Prince William's birthday. According to a former royal butler, Harry will contact his brother William, who celebrates his birthday on Wednesday. The Duke of Sussex will contact his brother Prince William on his birthday, despite the siblings supposedly not speaking in months, according to a former royal butler. Grand Harold, who worked for the royal family for seven years, believes the couple may try to fix their differences as the heir to the throne approaches his 41st birthday on Wednesday. Harry and William had a tight friendship until the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down from their roles as senior working royals in 2020. The physical isolation between the two has been paralleled by William and Harry, who lives thousands of miles away with his family in Montecito, California, while the Walesies have settled in Windsor. After a number of charges and assertions were leveled about members of the royal family in Harry's best-selling memoir, Spare and the Sussex's bombshell interview with US TV personality Oprah Winfrey, relations between the brothers became even more tense. The scenario prompted sources on both sides to declare in the Telegraph that Prince Harry and Prince William's relationship is at rock bottom, adding that the two brothers have not spoken for months. Despite this, Mr. Harold vowed hand on heart that Harry will contact his older brother this week. Do you know what, with families, when you fall out, you still fix it, he said in an interview with Slingo. I believe that hand on heart I continue to believe that Harry will contact William for his birthday. I believe he will contact him, and I believe they will continue to contact one other on their birthdays. Will there be a greeting card? I believe a card will still be available. Will there be a present? I'm not sure, it's difficult to say. Isn't it an intriguing one? I'd like to believe that when it's Kate's birthday, Harry and Meghan send flowers and vice versa. I'd like to believe that sort of thing occurs, but who knows? Look at how they said a secret meeting took place during the coronation when Harry was gone. Harry and William were allegedly seen together, so you never know. For all we know, they could be talking and figuring things out. I'd like to believe they remember each other's birthdays. On May 6, William and Harry looked to be united at the coronation of King Charles and Queen Camilla at Westminster Abbey. Before the monarch's big day, talk was strong that William and Harry would meet to work out their issues, though whether they met before or on the historic day has yet to be confirmed. As Mr. Harold remarked, that is a vast cry from when the brothers were growing up. When asked if William and Harry had their own birthday parties, he replied, I mean, we've heard that they had parties when they were kids growing up. When I was there, it was birthday parties where they brought their friends, but it was the same as any other birthday party where you have your friends and a cake and you sing a song. If you talk about generationally, like King Charles when he was younger, I'm sure the parties were a bit more formal, Mr. Harold remarked. I'm sure there were gatherings. I'm sure they were better prepared. It was the same with the late queen when she was growing up. I'm sure the gatherings would have been more low-key and, again, quite formal. So I believe it has evolved over time. This year marks William's first birthday since his father named him Prince of Wales following the death of the queen last year. William announced ideas for communal housing on the 130,000-acre estate he now controls in an interview with the Sunday Times ahead of his birthday. The prince also stated his intention to make ending homelessness in the UK's mission, telling the tabloid that he will launch a really big project to address the issue. The details of the five-year initiative, however, are being kept under wraps until the end of the month. William has prior experience dealing with homelessness. He is the patron of Centerpoint, an organization that assists homeless youth. On behalf of the charity, he officially opened Reuben House, a block of 33 studio apartments in South London, with rentals set at a third of a resident's income. Before his 40th birthday last year, he promised to keep shining a light on the solvable issue of homelessness and to expose his children to groups that help rough sleepers. In a portrait provided by Kensington Palace to commemorate Father's Day, William was shown Shows smiling Princess with Princess Charlotte children. and Prince George on either side of their father, gazing up at him, and Prince Louis, the youngest sibling, hugging William's shoulders from behind. Prince William's surprise visit to St. George's Park to present the Lioness's head coach with an award. 
Earlier today, Prince William paid a visit to George's Park ahead of the FIFA Women's World Cup to award N. Zweedman with the honor. Today, Prince William paid a surprise visit to award a gong to an English rugby star. The Prince of Wales paid a visit to Serena Wiegmann, the Lioness's head coach, at Tess George's Park today and presented her with a CBA. She appeared to be at a loss for words when she accepted the honor this afternoon, but she was able to communicate her joy at earning the honor. She told Sky News that she was very overwhelmed and a little bit speechless after the prince paid her a surprise visit. The prince's surprise visit to Ems Wademan came over a year after it was announced that she would receive the royal honor. She was named the New Year's Honors List, and she dedicated the honor to her players in a statement. I am very honored, she stated at the time. I dedicate this prestigious title to the players, coaching staff, and everyone involved in the English League who have worked tirelessly to ensure our mutual success. It's been a fantastic year, and we're already looking forward to 2023, where we hope to continue to do England proud. Photographers filmed the moment a happy Ems Wademan collected the Prince's Award. He was photographed delivering the medal out of a dark box and standing with the iconic skipper and other members of her team. The visit was part of a full day for the Wales family, which included a visit to London's National Portrait Gallery by Kate, Princess of Wales. The Princess of Wales paid a visit to the gallery this afternoon for its spectacular reopening after it had been closed for three years for renovations. As patron, she spoke with children and employees who had gathered at the building before the September inauguration of the upcoming Under Fives program. She had a beautiful moment with one of the children who had dressed up in a full two-piece suit for the occasion. Other notable guests for the grand reopening included Sir Paul McCartney, who will soon present an exhibition at the gallery. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.